Hi, it's me again. If you're back, let me thank you for your support. If you're new to this channel and you happen to like doll customizing videos, then this might be a great channel for you. Today I'm making a Victorian inspired look. The doll I'm using is Michelle Mermaid. I used this doll in the past for a different face up. I really hope I'm not the only artist that recycles. Sometimes when I'm not really pleased with something, I have to make it again until I like it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the face, after one coat of sealant, I'm going to start drawing up the eyes. As I said before, this doll used to be something else. First, she was supposed to be a pinup girl. Then I made her a new face and try a different look with leather. After thinking a lot, I finally came with an idea I really liked. I'm not really a sketchy person, so sometimes I just work and go with the flow. Almost all of my repaints have really arched eyebrows. But for this doll, I decided to make them more straight, to give Victoria a tender look. I'm using a gradient of blues to make the eyes as realistic as possible. Most of my dolls have blue eyes, but I promise the next one is having a rather peculiar color. With black pencil, I'm contouring the eyes. And filling up the pupil. and, with a lighter color, the whites of the eyes. To make the hair strokes for the eyebrows, I'm taking a dark brown color. As I want her to have a subtle makeup, I'm going to paint her lips pink. After the second layer of sealant, I'm darkening all the details. I'm also painting her lips again. With white acrylic paint and the top of a pin, I'm making the shine of the eyes.
Then I put some glossy varnish on the lips and both eyes. In order to achieve a natural look, I'm using pink as a transition color on the eyelids. For the eyes to have a little more depth, I'm using copper color on the outer corner. I'm using a lighter brown to contour her face. I'm contouring her cheeks and the jawline. This really makes the plastic look more alive. Don't forget to apply a little blush. and some highlight. And uh, my camera just died. Okay, well, let's continue, shall we? After that, I apply false lashes and some wavy hair. I'm giving her a simple headdress, using white applications, and as I don't want them to move, I'm using crystals and pins to secure them. Because of the high amount of glue I applied after the reroute, her head was really, really hard. Wanna see the struggle? Well, let's change the music a little bit and watch me suffer. Here comes the fun part. Okay, you can do it. I know it's a little hard, but you can do it. Come on, push harder. Oh, here comes the tweezers. <coughs> one gone, next one. The tweezers again? I bet you can do it. No, you won't. I knew it. Why not try putting on another part of the head? Okay, well, do what you want. Come on! Come on! Oh, tweezers again! Called it! Mm. 
It's a little stressy, isn't it? I can see anything. Thank you. Twisters, one more time. <laughs> I really love the buzzer. A different part. The head. Okay, you gave up. Earrings. Okay, fine. I bet your finger hurts so much. Finally! Congratulations! Okay, so let's continue, shall we? After struggling a lot with that freaking headpiece, I'm finally putting all the pieces together. I want her to have gloves, so I paint her hands white. For her dress to have that Victorian volume, I made a crinoline with wire and ribbon. For her shoes, I'm using Holy's Powerful Princess Pumps and paint them silver. Finally, I made this dress out of curtain fabric and some lace details. Now time for the dress up. Let's see the final results. After all the struggle and pain, I really love the final look. I think she looks so elegant and graceful, what do you think? If you haven't watched my last video, go on and take a look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more face-ups. Also, follow me on Instagram, where I upload more pictures of my dolls. I hope I see you on the next time, it's going to be wicked. See you later!